In the recently conducted Defence Acquisition Council meeting, the Ministry of Defence has asked the Indian Air Force to consider an Air Force variant of the twin-engine deck-based fighter program, in order to make the whole program financially viable, and also share the costs in its development phase, which is expected to be around 13,000 crore rupees. The Indian Air Force has told the government, that it is committed to procure 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters, 200 medium-weight fighter jets, and 36 Mark 1 variants of the fifth-generation AMCA, but the AUKA was not present in that list proposed by the Indian Air Force. Defence analysts have been calling to cancel the 114 fighter jets procurement from a foreign manufacturer worth $20 billion, and have advised to place an order for 36 additional India-specific Rafale fighters, and make the rest of the numbers with the Oka fighter jet, with huge participation from private sector in the production of all four indigenous fighter jet programs. As the Indian Air Force is all set to receive the first batch of five Rafale fighter jets on 27 July, some of the consignments related to M88 engines have already started to arrive in India, which have now reached their operational bases. 24 Indian pilots and 100 ground crew have been trained already by Dassault Aviation with assistance from the French Air Force. The Indian Air Force will receive the twin-seater variant first so that the Indian instructors can train more pilots for single-seat Rafale fighters, which will start arriving from 2021. Russian experts have said that the Su-35 offered to India will be equipped with the new Irbisi Stealth Hunter radar, which is capable to detect stealth fighter jets at ranges of 90 km, and 4.5 generation fighters at 400 km. The Su-35 boasts a number of advanced next-generation capabilities, which includes a larger payload of 14 air-to-air -air systems, powerful AL-41F engines with three-dimensional thrust vectoring capabilities for supermaneuverability, a 70% reduction in radar cross-section as compared to the Su-27, and with the R-37M hypersonic system, it can go head-to-head -head with all existing Chinese as well as Western fighters like the F-35A and the newly developed F-15EX. India and Russia have started to prepare India's Goa Shipyard Limited for the construction of two stealth frigates, which includes upgrade of the Indian shipyard, deliver the required documentation and training of Indian specialists, while the other two frigates have started construction at the Yantar Shipyard in Russia, and will be delivered on time by early 2024. The hull and superstructures will have low radar acoustic and infrared signatures, and they are designed to target enemy surface ships and submarines at short and long ranges, and counter aerial challenges both independently and within a formation. The Union Home Ministry has given the approval for field trials of high-tech ground-penetrating radar system on the western border with Pakistan. The handheld system will be equipped with an LCD screen and telescopic rod, and will be able to conduct automatic target recognition. The Defence Minister has arrived on a two-day visit to the Ladakh sector, where he interacted with frontline troops, and a detailed presentation was given to the Defence Minister by the Corps Commander on the latest on-ground situation. The Indian Air Force displayed its combat formations, while Indian Army T-90 tanks and BMP infantry combat vehicles carried out exercise in the presence of the Defence Minister, Chief of Defence Staff and Indian Army Chief. They also witnessed para-dropping by the Indian Armed Forces, and also inspected a number of defence systems. Iran has denied the Indian media report that India was dropped from the Chabahar rail project that was proposed along the border with Afghanistan, as Iran has not signed any deal with India regarding the railway project, and it was not agreed during the negotiations. Meanwhile, a track-laying ceremony for the rail line was held last week, as the Iranian government has decided to move ahead with the rail project on its own. That's it.